What happens when two of the most advanced fighter jets in the world go head to head? In the sky, it's not just about speed, it's about survival. Today, we're looking at two aerial titans, JAS-39 Gripen, which first soared on December 9, 1988, and Eurofighter Typhoon, taking flight on March 27, 1994. Both boast cutting-edge technology and lethal capabilities. But if these two warbirds ever found themselves locked in an all-out dogfight, who would emerge victorious? Buckle up, because this is going to be a clash you won't want to miss. Before delving deeper, we must first address a crucial question. How desirable are these fighter jets? Ukraine has certainly stepped up to answer that question. With great enthusiasm, Ukrainian Defense Minister Rustem Umarov has outlined plans to strengthen the country's air force. The F-16, with its robust combat capabilities, has become a primary focus, yet interest in other fighter jets is also rising. One aircraft that has garnered attention is the Mirage, which has recently been agreed upon. However, discussions about acquiring Gripen and Eurofighter jets have also begun to heat up. Both aircraft are known as frontrunners in modern military technology, each with advantages worth considering. If there are priorities, which one would be chosen first? Let's take a closer look at how these two fighter jets showcase their prowess in the world. The JAS-39 Gripen from Saab emerges as a standout fighter jet. With various variants ranging from A to F, it has a maximum takeoff weight of 16,500 kilograms thanks to its 98 kilonewton thrust engine and is equipped with a Mauser BK 27 mm cannon to face aerial threats. Gripen is designed with flexible technical solutions. Its unique avionics architecture allows for easy reconfiguration without affecting the aircraft's structure. With the ability to quickly adapt to new technologies, Gripen is always equipped with the latest hardware and software, making it one of the most efficient and versatile fighter jets on the market. More than just a war machine, Gripen integrates artificial intelligence and modern cockpit design. Equipped with a wide area display, the information presented aids pilots in decision-making during complex missions. It displays data intuitively, facilitating coordination with other tactical air units when selecting, launching, and directing weapons. Its electronic warfare capabilities are highly advanced, featuring the latest ESA technology to enhance resilience and survivability. Intuitive human-machine collaboration powered by AI, allows pilots to make quick and accurate decisions. Gripen combines cutting-edge technology, sensor fusion, and real-time communication, enabling rapid processing and dissemination of information. In an era of increasingly complex warfare, Gripen excels at penetrating enemy anti-access zones and disrupting their operational capacity. Its integrated electronic warfare system combines offensive and defensive measures, protecting Gripen while disrupting enemy efforts. Deadly and effective, Gripen offers best-in-class weapons and pods, allowing for unmatched integration of payloads. It is capable of performing various missions, from air-to-air -air engagements to reconnaissance. For instance, the Gripen E can achieve air supremacy by carrying up to seven long-range Meteor missiles and two short-range Iris-T missiles. This combination enables Gripen to detect, engage, and suppress or destroy targets with remarkable efficiency. Before we applaud the JAS-39 Gripen, let's examine the Eurofighter Typhoon. Will your attention shift to this fighter jet? The Eurofighter Typhoon, the most advanced multi-role fighter jet in the world, 
is a marvel of engineering designed to face modern challenges on the battlefield. Produced by a consortium of Airbus, BAE Systems, and Leonardo, this aircraft features a canard delta wing design and twin-engine setup. With the capability to execute both air-to-air -air and air-to-ground missions simultaneously, the Eurofighter Typhoon has caught the attention of nine air forces around the globe, relying on its extensive operational capabilities. Powered by efficient Eurojet EJ-200 afterburning turbofan engines, the Eurofighter Typhoon can reach maximum speeds of up to 2 Mach with a thrust of 180 kN. This aircraft can operate at altitudes of up to 55,000 feet, making it a powerful player in various combat scenarios. The advantage of the Eurofighter Typhoon lies in its structure, which consists of only 15% metal, providing benefits in stealth operations and protection against radar detection. This enables superior maneuverability at subsonic speeds and efficiency in supersonic mode, ready to tackle diverse combat situations. Its agility is further enhanced by stealth materials and advanced sensor systems, including electronic scanning and infrared sensors, allowing the aircraft to operate optimally in both long-range and close-range engagements. The Eurofighter Typhoon's flexibility is particularly impressive in terms of armament. It can carry a variety of air-to-air -air weapons, such as AMRAAM, IRIS-T, and Meteor, as well as air-to-ground munitions like Storm Shadow and Brimstone. With the ability to operate across a wide battlefield from close to long range, the Eurofighter Typhoon is a highly reliable combat asset. Another unique aspect of this aircraft is the involvement of pilots in the design process from the beginning, allowing for the development of a deliberately unstable airframe that is still easy to fly. This innovative approach makes the Eurofighter Typhoon not just a fighter jet, but a symbol of a technological bridge to the future, ready to face upcoming challenges in modern warfare. So, which fighter jet captivates your attention? The Gripen JAS-39 is known for its flexibility, adaptability to new technologies, and integration of artificial intelligence. Meanwhile, the Eurofighter Typhoon offers outstanding performance, particularly in speed and maneuverability. Both are advanced fighter jets capable of making significant contributions to a nation's air power. The choice between the two ultimately depends on the specific needs and priorities of each country. Imagine if that choice were in your hands. Which one would resonate in your heart? Leave your thoughts and thanks for watching.